Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Davy J Today. I'm your host, Davy J, and today we're going to be discussing movies. Yes, movies once again. Specifically, movies from the 1980s. My personal favorite top five movies of the 80s to be exact. And let's face it, there were some excellent films to come out of the 1980s. Adventure movies, horror movies, comedy movies. We're going to just basically be discussing my honorable mentions. And when I say honorable mentions, these are movies that I couldn't quite get to in my last video. In my last video, we discussed the Rolling Stone Top 100 Movies of the 80s, where we specifically discussed the Top 25 Movies of the 1980s. And these were movies that I really wish were on the list, but they simply just were not. But the good thing is, is that I've devised a list of my top five personal favorite movies of the 80s, and we're going to discuss them now. I'm going to show examples of physical media that I do own in my personal collection, Betamax movies and Laserdisc, and we'll go ahead and discuss those briefly. Now, I want to also take this time to thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm so appreciative. Now, let's get on with the content. All right, let's get to it. So these are movies that weren't necessarily on the list that were in my top five that I was surprised not to see in the top 25. Now, I read the rest of the top 100, and some of these are in the top 100, but I would put these in the top five. So we'll start off with Nick Castle's the last starfighter this movie changed the landscape of film it was the first movie to l use legitimate real cgi graphics and even though it kind of looks like a bad arcade game the point is is that they did it on a large scale and it's one of the first of its kind where everybody else was using miniatures in their films and miniatures are great in blue screens and stuff like that they made all of their spaceships outer space all these cool sequences with a computer and it's the first of its kind so check it out the last starfighter number four the lost boys the fighters for truth justice and the american way come on the two Corys, 1987 the lost boys and the lost boys i hold it dear to my heart i already told you that i love Corey haim Corey haim is amazing in this movie Corey feldman even better this is a movie about vampires which vampire movies are a dime a dozen but this is my favorite never have vampires been cooler than in the lost boys if you haven't seen this movie check it out death by stereo all right number three well and by the way this is in order too so number three would be ghostbusters 1984 what can be said about ghostbusters that hasn't already been said a million times groundbreaking special effects hilarious jokes great direction excellent acting dan Aykroyd, harold ramis ernie hudson bill murray come on what more do i say and number two back to the future 1985 this is probably going to be one or two on my list every time and not just of the 80s this is probably one of my top two movies of all time i love back to the future in fact the scene where he plays guitar at the dance remember johnny be good remember that scene i used to watch that with the volume super high every day before school I don't know why. I'd watch it before school. I'd turn it up. It was like listening to a CD or a tape to me. So I turned that up. It was my favorite part of the movie. So many great action sequences. Nowadays, you wouldn't see a movie like this with the... My mom has the hots for me. What? You know? Um, I don't know if you could get away with that nowadays. But Back to the Future is awesome. It spawned two more sequels. Two and three. It's a great franchise. Check it out. Number one on my list is The Thing. And this is my favorite movie when you're building suspense as a filmmaker i feel like it's like the hardest thing to obtain you watch so many different filmmakers directors producers try to mimic the same kind of similar suspense that the thing does so expertly and they just can't do it john carpenter did it and he did it perfectly 
Not only that, you have an amazing leading man in this movie as Kurt Russell. When everybody else is freaking out, Kurt Russell tries to hold them together. And this is where he shines. This is probably the movie that was really his coming out party. And even though it was pretty much a box office failure, this movie has garnished such a following. Now, other movies were very similar. Like Shawshank Redemption, believe it or not, it didn't have this amazing box office, but had this excellent afterlife on home video. And that's what happened with The Thing. People enjoy The Thing now. I love The Thing. But when it came out in 1982, not many people saw it in theaters. And I, I can imagine John Carpenter, being that it's his first legitimate, huge, big studio movie, he was probably so let down and so sad. I've, you know, I still feel bad for him. But not, not anymore. But geez, could you imagine putting all that work into something? And I mean, granted, it probably happens all the time. Not all movies are successes. But man, this movie has really garnished a following and a huge respect. People love this movie. People like me. And that's why I love movies. Movies like The Thing. Movies like Halloween. Movies like Back to the Future. That's what makes me love movies. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, check out more of my videos. If you want to talk about your favorite movies, uh, feel free to comment below. Did I miss something? Did you see some of the movies on the top 25? Maybe I just missed these movies. Should I watch these movies? Have you seen it? Do you suggest any other 80s movies that weren't on the top 100 or top 25 list that we went over today? Let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you continue to watch and subscribe and tell your friends about my channel because I do put a lot of work into it. And so even just getting one view is amazing to me. So thank you for watching. Those of you out there, I love you so much. It's greatly appreciated. I've said my piece. Now let's hear yours.